And then next thing you know, uh, he used the picture to create this goalie. So this goalie is actually Mike Hanley. Game plays amazing. The spinner stuffed me a couple times and Mike Hanley effed me a few times. So screw you, Mike Hanley. I'm Mike Dimas and this is Pinball Shenanigans. All right, we're here at Kevin's Arcade with the Shenaniganders. <laughs> and uh, we're going to do a little update on the action. So we'll start off by checking out what's going on over here. These mm -hmm. games are kind of squealing in the background. Mm -hmm. So Kevin um, has done a lot of cabinet restoration jobs, as you know. And, you know, the word is kind of spreading. So he gets a lot of requests from people. Hey, will you do my cabinet? And... Kevin has finally agreed to uh, take on a few projects here and there. There's a, a dude that wants Kevin to do like four different machines. And here's the first two. And he's going to do, are you doing um, like play field shopping and everything or just cabinet stuff? I think Dave Estill is going to do that. Okay. All right. So yeah, that's Dave Estill's buddy that is uh, getting these machines done. Looks like there's a Guns and Roses. Jurassic Park, this and Star Wars. This guy likes his Data East machines. And what's the other one? T2, you said? Uh, uh, Judge Dredd. Judge Dredd. Oh, okay. And then a T2. So this guy's got Kevin potentially busy for a while. But uh, as you know, Kevin works quick. And we're going to check out his World Cup soccer restoration finished product shortly. And I think he was in and out of that complete restoration, top to bottom, inside out in two weeks the guy is an animal so this is what's happening here uh we just thought we'd take a little peek we got lit flipper buttons lit apron cards which is always fun uh oh, look like we got a green led scoop light uh also for the death star there's some green going on under there and this is kind of a neat mod this r2d2 strobing blue light Got a Pin 2 DMD. We got Yoda with a green LED in his face. Uh, I think I heard there is pin sound on this machine, but if I play those tunes, YouTube may uh, end my video. This is a mod here. The uh, decal underneath the Death Star, that's usually just a yellow target. Um, yeah, so. Oh, we got one decal on this target as well. I don't know why not on the others, but it's fun to have this game in the arcade for a little bit. Oh, look at the color. It was just the Rocky and Bullwinkle promotion there. I haven't seen this game with color before. Uh, it looks pretty cool. And then we've got uh, Jurassic Park, which is also squealing. But this thing is loaded with mods i mean we're probably gonna look something as subtle as this 10,000 volts coin insert decal here keychain this is pretty cool uh apron cards are they lit up too that kind of looks lit up um but check this out we got pterodactyls and trees we got this sign here, another dinosaur here, art blades. This is freaking cool. Jurassic Park gate. And we got some like other, I don't know what that is, Velociraptor. Oh my God, he just came out and I tried to bite my finger off. That is friggin' wild. What a cool mod that is. And then we've got, this is a mod, these trees, this cool piece of um, amber with the mosquito in it. More trees. We got a goat. Love that. Um, I don't know if that's the original pop bumper decals, but those are cool. We've got these guys here on top of the scoops. And then this whole back thing here, when dinosaurs ruled the earth, color DMD. Have a closer look at the art blades here. Uh, clear 
Titan silicone rubbers. Oh, all lit up star posts. Oh, and these, got decals on these uh, targets there. And these guys here. So this is a super modded up machine. We're missing a rubber right here. We should probably put one on there. Oh, look at this. We got um, a ceramic ball for the captive ball. That's pretty cool. Did I miss anything? Because this thing is just loaded. Anyway, thought we'd take a peek at that. So Kevin's going to, oh, this guy, another top of the scoop mod. Uh, Kevin's going to, um, and I'm noticing more, the back panel is lit up. That's freaking cool. So yeah, Kevin's gonna tear these guys apart, put them back together again, powder coating. Uh, new decals, the works, what Kevin does. All right, so we are going to go check out your finished product on World Cup Soccer. Did you pitch in on this, Dutch? Did you uh, do some play field stuff? Oh, no? I fixed his other games while he was doing it. Uh, okay. Well, I was doing maintenance. Attaboy. <laughs> uh, and, oh, you can turn off those machines now so they can stop squealing. Me. <laughs> Uh, oh, beauty. Okay, check out this guy. So, you started on this, what, two weeks ago? Mm, not, even. not even two weeks ago. He completely tore this thing apart. We're talking, like, down to the bare wood on the cabinet. Fixed all the holes, patched all the bumps and bruises, and reassembled everything obviously with beautiful new decals um, this turquoise powder coating is awesome you got the legs the lock bar shooter housing or side rails um, hinges and then you went with the purple on the what do you call it violet purple well, it's that purple. Yeah, it's Wait, it's the Papadook purple. Come on, it, it, this is the color of yep. that teal for this, and the purple for the wire forms. It, it so. matches friggin' perfectly. It's beautiful. It's like a one of a kind World it's Cup like, soccer. It's but like check this out. Crappy gold. This crappy gold. Yeah, this, yeah. Just replace all that with purple. It's Originally, cool. it's like gold, but it wears over the thirty years that yeah, it exists. I, I didn't actually notice this. Like, like I thought the the wire form was actually supposed to be silver until I realized. There was gold on it, like right. all wore off. Yeah, exactly. Um, I love how this uh, coin toss zone turned out with the green rubbers. They're actually all see they're actually all glow in the dark. They are glow in the dark. All the posts are glow in the dark. Throughout glow in the dark rubbers. So the wire form. But the clears are not. And clear. even like the ramp stops are uh, powder coated. We did coin toss. Yeah. Wire form. This piece to hold it up. Yeah. And the diverter. Oh, uh, the diverter. That was my that idea. That is friggin' cool. I don't know that I've ever heard of a, a diverter being clear coated or uh, powder coated. Yeah, I mean, so I, my suggestions were the ramp stops and the diverter. I'm like, hey, these are oh, pretty yeah. cool. Another one like, there. Yeah. yeah, one, two, and three. And then, of course, coin toss and the wire and the wire form right. were basically so, a given. Yeah, got to do that. And then um, full LEDs throughout, all no, new uh, side art. Got rid of the mirror blades. We got the John G apron cards and clear Titan rubbers throughout, except for the. Um, I'm new net oh. decals too. Oh, you know what? I thought I saw a new uh, goalie decal, so new goalie and net decals. And uh, turns out that uh, this goalkeeper is. Um, well, Mike Hanley. You know Mike Hanley? He's been in the industry for like decades and he's good friends with John Papaduke. Oh. Uh, and they have been, I think, still to this day. And Papaduke, what do you say? He uh, like asked Hanley for a photo once upon a time yeah. in early 90s. Well, probably while he's developing the game. I think he said 93. 93? Okay. And then uh, Hanley sent him what, a Polaroid? No, it was a picture that had the one hour development and then send it. Okay, <laughs> did the one hour development thing, rush order. No, right. And then next thing you know, uh, he used the picture to create this goalie. So this goalie is actually Mike Hanley. And that is pretty cool. 
He's also got a couple appearances on like Circus Voltaire too. Like yeah, he has his name in the credits. Oh uh, yeah, there's a flipper code on Circus Voltaire that if you hit, I think it's seven and eleven, something to do with the Seven Eleven store. I don't know why, but uh, and then it has some animation where hey, Canadian pinball something John uh, goes through a, a bunch of credits, including Hanley and his family and uh, and some tunes. It's a pretty cool Easter egg. Uh, yeah. So what else happened with this game? Um, we, go, we went, we said all LEDs, right? Oh, really? uh, they, the game was already LED. Oh, was it? Yeah, we just put the LEDs back. Okay. Um, you went through basically everything. Yeah, we recleaned the playthrough. Yeah. Oh, you know what? Oh, yeah. Um, looks like flipper new buttons flipper change. buttons. Because, like, there were, like, the bright, like, the stained yellow and, like, the weird one. And polished every single carriage bolt, which is a nice yeah. touch. I mean, we're talking about probably even under here. Yep, those six carriage bolts, all polished, even though you don't even see them. That's why Kevin's obviously, uh, obviously you just in did high see demand. Them. Well, this is true. There's another, but let's zoom out a little bit so you can just see how pretty everything is. All the corn, like this. If you want to see a bunch of photos of the before, just join Facebook, Ontario. Arcade and Pinball Collectors and Beyond group. There's a post there with like 70 photos of the action Showing you all the detailed before and after photos because this thing had a lot of dings and nicks and chunks and graffiti But that's all been cleaned up sharpened up bondoed up new nylon feet and You know it was a beautiful restoration so there it is, your World Cup soccer in two weeks or less. Um, is it still blowing the fuse? No. I no? Oh, okay. Well, it's, it's working until it's not. That's my uh, pinball motto. Do you want to show off your uh, new board? Yeah? I guess so. Okay, well, what just arrived today was a new driver board was something that was a long time coming yeah because you've had I've this bought, machine I got this game early April, like not late April so April May June July August so four months and well, change it was, like, it was probably like five days of April I've had it so like essentially I've had this thing for four months and this is this now is the first day it's actually been working and be it's due to this rotten dog driver board Slash yes. CPU. Is it a CPU? CPU and driver board? MPU and driver yeah. board. Oh yeah, it is. There it is, right there. So, um, let's see. Uh, you said it. The, it actually, the sound works now. The sound, oh, the sound did work in a, to the point where it was driving nuts before. No, oh, okay. I think you uh, may have heard it when you were previewing Jurassic Park. Oh uh, no, I didn't uh, notice. No, I didn't hear nothing. Uh, I'm lying. I'm just kidding. All right, well, let's uh, hear what it sounds like. It sounds cool. And uh, why don't you play a ball? Hey! Is it Grainer that did the sound on this? Uh, oh, and you've got... No, Robin Seaver and Paul, whatever, I even his last name. Oh, Brian Eddy did the software, okay. Robin Seaver and Paul Heist did the sounds. Sound pretty funky. And you got the new John G. English apron cards because they were uh, like French before. Yeah, I don't know why, but there were French ones in there before. Well, probably because it was in Quebec, which is our neighboring province, so. But yeah, this is another uh, restoration. This is Dutch's uh, project. And then after that was the hard body. Oh, okay. Know well, they were in French. take your actually, our word for it. This one was English. This one was French. The right. One was in French. So we can actually like read the rules now and kind of know what to do. Well, I can read the rules. Hey, before. do you want to uh, play a quick game of World Cup soccer? Uh, I guess so. Okay. Might as well. You missed, the, you missed Sharky speaking though. He, oh, did I? Well, now can, he's not gonna do it anymore. Oh, uh, what if we pick? Oh, that, There's oh, Sharky. Look. So, down there. Oh, okay. There it is. Ah, I love it. That's awesome. 
cute little touch there, uh, Williams. Well, it's like uh, Captain Bizarre, but it, it, actually, is. it works better because like his mouth moves yeah. a decent distance. Captain Bizarre, his mouth literally moves like One two millimeters, and unless you're actually looking for it, you would never even know that his mouth is moving. But it's cool that, you know, Bally Williams fair, went through all the trouble to try and make that uh, an effect. To be fair, that is a full effect. head though. This is a, this is a 2D cutout. Yeah, this two is just a plastic. flat plastic. Two pieces of flat plastic and a screw holding them together. All right, well, let's go see how, uh, we play one ball of this. Uh, you want to play a ball? I'll let you try yeah. it. Yeah, sure, why not? All right, we got to see if those optos that just put in work. Oh, okay. Nine. But the diverter doesn't work or something. Right? No, the diverter is not working. Okay, what am I supposed to be doing? Uh, hit the targets. Okay. You're playing nine ball, so shoot the targets in order. So, H. spell hot? H. You gotta shoot the shot. There we go. Oh, so it resets, kind of like, uh, what is it? Alien, oh, okay. Alien poker. Ah, scratch. Scratch. This is my progress carryover. It's nice to be able to hear all the proper sounds and everything. There's a skill shot. Okay, there's... That's not it. Uh, it's the scoop at the top there. There's a giant arrow sp saying skill shot. Alright. Well, I'm trying to do a hot shot. Okay, now, obviously, okay. Uh, i got to go left ramp. Uh, both right. ramps, they work. Nice. Wait, the thing is that it would it would divert it into the wire forms. It would give you the eight ball here, so it, it didn't get the eight ball because the diverter doesn't oh, work. Okay. okay. Also, so, small problem with the left bank I'm seeing as it's taking five tries to reset. Oh, is it? Well, watch it as it tries to come back up. Oh well, yeah, five times, but so it doesn't know that it's reset because why would it keep trying to reset? Well, I don't know. Maybe my optos are no good. Okay. Ooh, so I got the eight? No, you, you, you got the sink one ball. Oh, extra ball. On the, on the plunge, you can sink a number of balls. Okay. You ever try and shats for an extra ball? Oh! I, by shatsing, you gotta shats with the extra ball on that side so that when you hit the flipper, Changes over that side, right? Or I'll just do that. Oh, son of a... I want my nine ball. Damn it! I think I got that extra ball. Okay, there it is. Okay, so nine ball. Left loop. Uh oh, no ball save on this game. That would have been three million. Okay, well. Oh, that's pretty neat. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> right? Cool. So it's uh, Cool Sharks is working. And uh, why don't we do one uh, quick game of World Cup soccer, too? See how this guy plays. Get a goal or two. Dutch. You want to, uh, or Kevin? Sure. Okay. We just played this uh, in qualifying in Buffalo at the Beast Tournament. It was in there. Had a pretty good score. Yep, yep. Oh, yeah. Okay, so just so you know, it's uh, on it's wheels. wheels. <laughs> and, ball safe. I didn't even need to do that. Qualifying score in Buffalo is 1.6 billion. I'm hoping to get uh, one eighth of that right now. Flipper buttons feel great. Brands making new. Oh, it's smooth. It's playing very smooth and slick. Got, what, super bands or Titan bands on the rubber, on the flippers? Uh, I actually bought Titans, but uh, I like the original ones that were on there, so I think the, they may be super bands. 
This is uh, Gordon's old machine. You traded for what? Fish tails. That's right. Fish tails. Spirit. What's your high score there, Dutch, on this game? Uh, I may have re I think I reset the uh, wrong. Oh, I think it was like five point six at one point. Five billion, eh? That's pretty impressive. I don't know. I don't know if the high score is on Maybe we changed the batteries in this. You did change the batteries? All right. The toughest shot in pinball is this final draw shot, but only when lit. It's not so bad when it's not lit. Can you backhand it? No need to backhand. Maybe uh, get some display in the action there too. There we go. Okay. Can we get this last light? For a 30 mil? Soccer ball in there too, right? Yep. Beat Germany. Very apt. Women's World Cup soccer is going on right now, too. Okay, skill shot. That's the one. Easier to play on wheels or harder? Mm. Oh, yeah, that's true too. Okay. Final draw. Green and now owns it. Okay, backhand, forehand. Oh, 
kicking me in the shins there, but it was your puppy. Okay, skill shot. Does it work more the second time around? No. Get up there. Okay. I'm not really sure what I was shooting there. Oh my god. Yeah, one more to relight that multi ball and go for Germany. Unlimited kickback. There's a busted ramp shot. Another busted ramp shot. Okay, I think I have one ball left. I know they need like three more cities. What? Is it? Oh, I thought I had another ball. Okay, I lied. Alright, well, that's not too bad. Uh, game plays amazing. The spinner stuffed me a couple times, and Mike Hanley effed me a few times, so screw you, Mike Hanley. But game is awesome. <laughs> Alright, well. Uh, that's basically uh, the tour of the arcade, the update, so, um, oh, wait a minute, I was going to ask about these guys, this is the latest edition, these giant Beatles cutouts that your buddy made 20 years ago, and you've been pestering him for a couple decades, and finally acquired them, so there's two, there's three, Paul McCartney over here. And then the, the yellow submarine. Yeah, yellow submarine cocktail. I mean, coffee table. Look at that. That is pretty wild. Wow. One of a kind. Uh, I'm, you, it's impressive that you found space for these guys and it worked out well. And. What did you show the. What else? Oh, the. Uh, yeah, we'll show this off again because this is awesome. Raiders of the Lost Arcade. Best arcade sign ever. And uh, yeah, so got a cool new sign over here. Got a Cactus Canyon in the queue, you know. Not psych. <laughs> There's nothing going on in there. It's just for decoration, but psyched out a couple people here and there. Anyway, that's the update. We're gonna drink some beer and play some pinball, so see ya. Okay, we're trying to do some Arkanoid Easter egg action on Star Trek Next Generation. Dutch has entered in the code, and he needs to hit the hollow deck, the and right then, orbit. In hollow deck. Maybe so I'll get it it's like an Easter egg within an Easter egg, because yeah. you got to do the. Uh, you can do a code before so in the hollow deck, and then put in a secret code in the hollow deck to play Riker's Poker Night. This is like double Easter egg action, because the, the initial Easter egg is playing poker rather than going through all the tunnels. And the Easter egg within the Easter egg... Oh, okay. Hey, there it is! Yes! Arkanoid! 
Oh, it. yeah. You only get five balls, though. That's the problem. It's worth oh. zero points, but here it is. The oh, Arkanoid oh. Easter Egg. Yeah. Oh. What if you clear the whole board? I, I, maybe you would get points. Maybe. I haven't done that yet. This is my third time playing. Is yet. it? Oh, that's my first time ever even seeing oh, it. I yeah, think. me too. Damn it. Yeah, okay, there we go. I got there no it points is. for it. Nice. Oh, that's like a... There's a whole website dedicated to Easter eggs and cows, and we're going to show another one here. This is, uh, Dutch showed us this a little bit earlier, and I wanted him to show me again on film here. He's doing the, uh, it's quite the lengthy code. you got to hit a bunch of buttons. And here we go. Every Steve Ritchie game up until this point. It's every Steve Ritchie game, including a couple games from Atari. That yeah. was Airborne Avenger. And Superman. And Superman. Isn't that awesome? Okay, we're going to do another code. Here, Dutch is going to work his magic here. And here we go. Flashers programmed into this. It's not just on the display. And also the GI kind of goes dimmer whenever the names are flashing. Roger Sharp. And there you go. There's another Easter egg for you. All right. Dutch just did a test and succeeded. Now, can you succeed on film? It is a lot of button presses for this next code. But it is a cow code. And I've never seen it before in my life. So let's see if he nails it. Start. Went down yeah. Spike. You have to chainsaws. Like, uh, it's seven left, one start. Fourteen right, one start. Twenty left, and then one start. Uh, well, you nailed it. So you have to count, count in your head. <laughs> and a bunch of in a row. All right. Ready for Hello World? Ball needs to be in the shooter, na shooter lane, and then uh, we gotta go like three, one, three, one, three, one, two, and then it didn't work. And no, it didn't work again. Ah, uh, it didn't game work. Is no 